Hello everyone, welcome back or to my channel. I'm Lexis and this is Nom Nom to Fitness. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the healthy vegan recipes that I'm eating on my fitness journey. So let's hop right into it. So lately I've been starting my morning off with some lemon water. So I add room temperature water into a mason jar and then I fill the rest with boiled water. Then I squeeze one whole lemon into it. After that, I normally have a smoothie, so I'm adding some water into my high-speed blender, some frozen kale. Now I'm adding some frozen peaches, some frozen strawberries, and one frozen banana. I'm adding this vanilla protein powder and some of this organic hemp powder. I add one tablespoon of the hemp powder and one scoop of the protein powder. So I got these turmeric coconut wraps from Thrive Market and I'm telling you it's actually a really good alternative. It tastes really good and if you don't want to eat bread and you want to be low carb then this is a good idea for you. So I'm adding some of this roasted garlic hummus onto the coconut wrap and I'm going to top it with some veggies. So I'm adding some lettuce, some red onion and some cherry tomatoes. So I found these chicken pieces at Whole Foods by Sweet Earth. It's plant-based and I'm telling you it is the closest thing to chicken that I have seen so far and it actually tastes exactly like it so I recommend that you try this. I just added a little bit of grapeseed oil to a pan and I'm adding some sea salt and some black pepper and once it's brown then it's finished. Now I'm adding the chicken pieces onto the wrap and I'm going to top it off with some buffalo sauce. If you don't like spice, then you can put a different dressing on it, like ranch dressing. But I'm telling you, adding the buffalo sauce really takes it to the next level. I'm trying to figure out how to wrap this, so I just decided just to roll it like I'm making sushi. Next, I'm making some lentil potato curry. So I'm adding one fourth cup of grapeseed oil into a pan and one diced yellow onion. And if it looks far away, it's because something happened with my camera, so I had to use my phone. That's why it looks different. Next, I'm adding in two teaspoons of minced garlic and two teaspoons of minced ginger. I'm gonna let that cook down for about 10 minutes. I'm adding a half teaspoon of turmeric and two tablespoons of curry powder. And I let that cook down for about two minutes. Now I'm adding in one cup of red lentils and two diced Yukon gold potatoes. Give that a mix. I'm adding in a half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, three cups of veggie broth, one 14 ounce can of crushed tomatoes or diced tomato, and one 14 ounce can of full fat coconut milk. I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna let it simmer for about 25 minutes covered. Also when it's finished, taste it to see if you need to add some sea salt. I'm going to eat this with some jasmine rice. You can also eat this with naan bread. It's really, really good. And you can garnish it with some parsley or eat it with cilantro, which adds really good flavor to it. Here I'm just adding some plain yogurt. And this is the dairy-free yogurt that I got from So Delicious. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video.